welcome to our presentation on the Motoros uh, uh, interface for us two applications. Uh, together with my colleague uh, from uh, Hash uh, from Technical University, uh, Delft, and me from Yaskawa, Markus, we are going to give you or to impress you over our latest achievements uh, in our company and uh, uh, where these achievements can be uh, populated and uh, we think that you can, you can uh, just plug, plug and play our interface and run all your robotic applications. Uh, just try it forward. So we think uh, we are very impressed and uh, we think that our presentation will be useful for you and, uh, and uh, especially useful and very inspired. Uh, and you'll be very inspired. So, so our, actually the, the, our story behind this, uh, this topic is to, to give you the impression, not only technical details, of course, they are coming, but uh, mostly impressed what, uh, about the Yaskawa achievements, especially Haish and uh, also Ted Miller, who developed this uh, uh, interface. So, so most, most of these uh, uh, applications which you are going to, to display you was tested in our laboratory. So it's, uh, uh, it's up to you just to connect and plug and play. This is, the, for me, it's a very impressive solution. And uh, uh, yeah, so so the people who stay behind the the scene and uh, who who are our astronauts who landed on the moon, so this is the Hush uh, from, is a researcher in uh, Technical University and together with the Ted Miller from from Yaskawa Motoman, they developed the interface uh, uh, ROS uh, ROS2 interface, which works straightforward and uh, you can just uh, plug and play. We use uh, our solution, or we we, are, we use our partners, or uh, we use our we use uh, Micros, and we use also the let me see Iprosima, which uh, uh, which we mm, send some kind of uh, uh, technical questions, uh, and they were very responsive. Uh, so the next, I would like to display <coughs> the motivation which stays behind the. Our development, so first was, of course, uh, we tried to give uh, our customers, uh, current customers and uh, future customers, uh, the uh, interface where you can just, just strike forward, implement or deploy on your controller and uh, connect your ROS, uh, ROS stack and uh, ROS, uh, uh, ROS ecosystem. So we think here you can just strike forward, deploy, uh, uh, path planners, uh, for, for example, from Picnic, and you can just play uh, behavior trees, and uh, you can uh, artificial intelligence, and uh, all this type of uh, vision systems is uh, ready to go. And uh, uh, later, I would, we will display how to use it, and uh, this is the, our goal. And uh, yeah, the next couple, the next slides. Uh, of course, uh, there's a other motivation behind the behind the development is to uh, that our our solution is uh, it, it should be ready to go, and uh, it should be uh, seamless and uh, and uh, and you and you can customize as you want. Uh, uh, and of of course, the uh, I will display this feature later. Uh, uh, however, and. And this interface is open source, so everyone is recommended to to uh, to participate. In the next uh, slides, I would give you the general overview: what kind of application you can just uh, uh, you can just arrange. This is only the exempl exemplification, <laughs> who, who, and uh, it gives you the general overview: what kind of application you can arrange, and uh, of course, you can derive based on this uh, what you are going to, to display. So, so first we can, as a leader of the welding applications, we think that uh, such a tool like a, uh, where the, mm, uh, such an external tool where the uh, orientation or, or position can be captured by the, for example, 3D camera, uh, it can be just, uh, just connected to, to your, for example, uh, uh, applications. So here is the application we run in the, everything in the Docker. But of course, this is only the example how we think. 
So normally you can, for example, we, we, here we display that you can run our application. Uh, uh, you can run your application in the here uh, in the on the NVIDIA Jetson, but we are completely independent from the, the platform, and uh, we can. I will display this later. But here you can see that uh, the uh, position and orientation of the external tool uh, can be, let me see, captured by the camera and uh, or the other external sensors, and you can just connect to, to your application. Uh, so, uh, so next, uh, we think that you can uh, utilize also the external sensors like uh, uh, force sensors. Of course, we understand the current limits regarding the, uh, regarding the uh, uh, sort of uh, 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 lack in the, in the system or not real time, but this challenge is addressed and uh, sooner or later we are going to support. Here we have also we run, uh, we run the Movit Studio, and uh, the, this is probably one of the best solutions for, for uh, building applications and running applications. So, of course, we are completely independent here, but this is only the, <coughs> as I mentioned, this is only the exemplification. So, we can go further. So, uh, as, uh, uh, as uh, uh, probably a lot of you were in the Automatica, and could see, for example, how, uh, about, and they were, you are probably inspired by, by the, uh, how many vision systems are integrated or how many vision systems are, are, are <laughs> you could see. But we think that, uh, for example, using our interface, Motoros 2 interface, it's a ready to go solution. So you can just utilize, for example, Docker, Docker from the NVIDIA, or you can run your own Docker. Uh, image uh, e a container uh, using the TensorFlow or PyTorch or the whatever. Uh, so, uh, so this type of solutions is uh, ready to go and we can utilize uh, our in uh, Motoros 2 uh, interface. And uh, we think, and uh, this application actually was tested in our lab and it works awesome. We, we haven't used it to move it studio, but we use the uh, move it. So it was, it works. Uh, completely outstanding and uh, it's awesome. Uh, uh, of course, we can go further. So here you can see, for example, we, you can arrange the perception. So you can connect uh, different kind of sensors inside the, inside the ROS uh, ecosystem. So we think that, for example, you can run your external uh, temperature, you can capture temperatures, pressure, external accelerations, movement, and everything you can run, you can capture by the different kind of sensors which utilize the micro ROS. So you can connect everything inside the robot controller, or I mean in the ecosystem, and you can, you can, uh, you can connect, and you can see uh, here you can just uh, plug and play, uh, for example, uh, you run the Docker with the, for example, plot juggler or the other. So you can see all this kind of uh, positions, uh, 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 positions of the robot, uh, 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 velocities, accelerations, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, measurements from from the from from the uh, from the uh, from the microcontrollers. You can see on the one one common screen. So this is the completely outstanding solution and uh, using our Moto ROS uh, interface. Uh, it's a, this is ready to go. It's up to you how you develop and how you, uh, how you can uh, utilize it. Uh, the next slide we can go, of course, we, you, can, uh, you can connect uh, your no ROS node or whatever to the cloud. We test that in our lab also we connect uh, our our node to the Linode, so it was a completely outstanding solution. So, we, so, so we think uh, that, for example, you can run sort of a visualization, or you can, you can. Of course, you are you know it about that, but uh, but here we can capture. Uh, you can make your own node in in the in the cloud and uh, uh, as a data storage and uh, and. And, uh, and analysis, you can, uh, you can compute everything uh, uh, in the cloud. So this, uh, so, so next slide actually, it's a technical, uh, it displayed our technical solution. Uh, so we are, 
Uh, so we successfully implemented ROS node on the, on the industrial controller. To achieve this one, we, we use the RCL and the RCLS uh, library from ROS, and we use also the uh, ROS services and uh, APIs from ROS. Um, uh, we install uh, the MotorOS 2 application using our SDK. Uh, our SDK is, uh, or part of SDK is uh, MotoPlus. What you need to do is uh, go to the GitHub, upload the, upload the uh, uh, files. Uh, download. Download. Yeah, okay, sorry. You, you have to download the, from the GitHub uh, our... <laughs> <laughs> our uh, our Motoros, uh, Motoros uh, uh, interface uh, deployed to the controller. Uh, however, on the other side, uh, not however, but on the other side, this is one one line command. Uh, so you just uh, in your terminal just start your container, and uh, and your ROS application just magically or um, yeah, it it see uh, uh, your application can see or uh, ROS can see the node which is run on the industrial controller. This is a completely uh, transparent solution as you can see it's uh, ready to go and any kind of issues here uh, I think that uh, this allows you within the 10 minutes or maybe less uh, if you are very familiar with the Rails Gava robot uh, just pl plug and play. So this is plug and play solution. and. Uh, and here you have more details regarding the, how you can play uh, applications. So here we are not, the, we are also uh, totally independent from the hardware, because uh, as you can see on the agent side or the uh, on the um, your application side, you need to ra only run the micro ROS, uh, where is the uh, let me see the agent and you build your application uh, on the on, on a PC or, or the NVIDIA Jetson or probably on the Raspberry Pi or even or the Arduino probably. Uh, so you can see here you can utilize, for example, behavior trees and you can u utilize the other ROS application and you can connect to the cloud also. So we think also uh, further here is uh, also uh, it's a uh, it's not the same. Uh, however, here you can also connect uh, to our interface. Uh, for example, uh, for example, the application which is not ROS node, which is not ROS uh, ROS application. Uh, we are using, for example, if you are using the DDS. So, for example, you can play, you can connect the uh, application uh, using the DDS to to, to ROS and uh, and perform the motion. So here we are using, uh, for example. As an example, move it, uh, move it studio as a, as a path planner or as the builder of your application. So on the other side, uh, we have the is arbitrary uh, limit uh, of up to eight groups of, of, of control. Uh, so next slide uh, display uh, the control flow of uh, our application. Uh, so first, you need to build your path. Uh, so afterwards, uh, your path uh, uh, on the on the application side, your path is uh, is uh, transformed to the uh, to the trajectory. So you need to set the timestamps and the velocities. So you send this trajectory to to the Moto uh, Moto uh, ROS two interface, <coughs> where the Moto ROS interface is a first uh, is initialized and uh, the drives has to be enabled, and uh, you need to choose the. Uh, modes or our control modes I will send I will display this later so the tra the spline of the trajectory is resample each four milliseconds and uh, we um, on the motoros application uh, 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 motoros 2 uh, uh, interface submit increments to the uh, to the execution to to controller so on the on the controller side we run the uh, we run the inform job, which enable the uh, incremental move functions. Uh, so a uh, function. So so afterwards, the robot moves uh, as uh, as was planned. Uh, so the next, uh, I would like to highlight uh, about the our two different kind of uh, uh, motion control modes. So we run two. Uh, first is a follow joint trajectory. The other is a queue. 
uh, trajectory point. So in the first, uh, you just uh, you what you what we mean. So it means, uh, for example, we are using the path planner, for example, from Moveit, or we can, you can run the, your Python or C++ where you create your trajectory, and the complete trajectory is sent to the to the to the <coughs> to the controller using our interface, and uh, and uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. So this is very simple. A solution. So here we have the limit uh, to up to 200 points uh, positions, but this limit it's not uh, as I understood it's not uh, uh, in our controller or in our in our interface, but it's uh, uh, it it refers to the uh, solution in the in, uh, in the size of the buffer in the micro ROS. Uh, so the other interesting mode is a Q trajectory uh, point. It means that, for example, our path uh, or trajectory is built on the fly, so you send you you send the positions on the fly, and the interpolation is uh, on the uh, so the Motoplus interpolates the positions between the uh, between these joints um, uh, positions on the trajectory. Uh, so uh, so the next slide. Uh, 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 displays uh, the API, ROS API, which uh, which uh, we have. So so first we send uh, our uh, our motion control, our motion function, or our motion positions. We are using the control messages uh, to the action server. So action server sent further to the uh, to uh, uh, to robot controller. And uh, trajectory is executed uh, due to the special kind of conditions. Right now, we take account the go time tolerance and the go tolerance, and uh, and uh, our mo our trajectory attempts to uh, to execute uh, the tra trajectory very uh, as faithful as possible. But we have the other requ uh, requirements regard due to the uh, motion dynamics, of course. We have to consider the, the acceleration. So the motor plus or motor ROS uh, interface has to compute compute the accelerations. It takes the span between the time span between the two trajectory points and the velocities inside uh, in these points. So so we have complete uh, um, trajectory. Uh, so uh, so we have we publish. Uh, Publish topics, uh, so our ROS uh, publish topics. We, of course, you have the joint status. Uh, you have the, of course, the positions, velocities, and efforts, uh, linear movement, and the, the and uh, joint movement. And of course, we are uh, we are doing also the same for uh, control groups. Uh, for the bidding, for uh, boosting your application. You can capture also the <coughs> robot status, like a drive enable, motion possible. Uh, so we think, uh, or uh, you, if you have the what kind of mode is active or not, so it, it will boost sufficiently your application. So we we also publish the uh, trans, uh, uh, frames, uh, transformation frames, uh, but our node doesn't sub subscribe any uh, topics uh, currently. Uh, uh, so we offer customized services. Uh, this allows you uh, first uh, to start and stop uh, different kind of modes. Uh, it, it allows to to set some kind of bits or IOS uh, yeah. and uh, reset and uh, and clear the the errors. Uh, so here it's a, it's a extremely important <laughs> uh, important message. Or important slide where it dis we display here uh, how it is it is it it, it is easy to, to run. You just uh, go to the GitHub, and as you can see, we actually also received the uh, wonderful logo from Motorola 2. Uh, so uh, so uh, you can just go to the GitHub, upload the upload this application from our Git uh, uh, from our Git repository. Uh, you just put your this application on the stick, the USB stick, go to the controller, upload to the controller, 
and uh, you also what you need to do is also you need to just uh, let me see use this yaml file which is the text file you need to just edit of course there are some some sort of default parameters but uh, normally you have you can you can let me see the configure your applications uh, regarding the ip address names and uh, q quality of service and uh, security and uh, and everything is uh, everything is uh, um, completely outstanding done so you can just uh, as i mentioned plug and play so on, on the other side as i mentioned before you can just start uh, start your uh, uh, docker container it's, uh, uh, of course it's automatically download from the git, uh, from the git build and run so this is the stride forward <coughs> so so of course uh, here uh, this is the uh, uh, version where you just you don't need to do completely nothing uh, uh, however if you like if you need for example sort of uh, uh, rain reinventing something or you would like to add something or modify something or whatever you perform some kind of development you would like to boost it, uh, or you would like to contribute uh, uh, in our for example in, in our in our development so you can you can also upload your uh, our files from the git and of course you need to compile it but you need to use this SDK from from our company and uh, the, the process, in the deployment process is uh, also, uh, it's, it's the same. So here it says, summar, um, we can sum up what, how it is done. So you have first, you have your dream application. You, 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 you yeah, it's your dream application idea. You just choose, the, choose uh, your favorite robot, go to the GitHub. Of course, the, the GitHub is supported by the my colleague Hash, so he, we provide all this com uh, all this configurations files regarding the each robot, Yaskava robot. So you just upload this one. You configure the, your gazebo. You can configure using the assistance uh, RVs or move it application uh, in the parallel or in the later. You can upload your applications, uh, your Motoplus uh, interface from uh, from Git. And upload to the uh, to uh, to our controller. That's it. That's very simple. Um, and uh, here we currently we support uh, two controllers. It's a first. It's a it's a it's a uh, Yaskawa uh, robot controller 1000 and micro micro uh, my, uh, or micro. So this is supported. However, we as a philosophy of uh, uh, of uh, uh, the, we, if you follow philosophy of Ross, so we would like to also support the old type of controllers. <coughs> so sooner or later, I am not quite sure how far we are, but uh, very soon we are going to support other type uh, controllers. So we, we will support total branch, uh, all the robots and all the uh, all the all the uh, controllers which exist in our company. Uh, so, uh, so here, of course, this is very important. Uh, also, message that uh, uh, that uh, we try to be as much as open as possible. So we try to be very collaborative. This uh, this uh, uh, this type of uh, interface is open source, and we try to capture new members. Uh, but, however, we have a great roadmap. Uh, so, so first, it's a very important message that we try to also to to integrate, in, integrate or to deliver uh, uh, support the other type of uh, older type of uh, controllers. We would like also to use the ROS interface to to set the variables in our controller. We would like to support the Cartesian motion velocity. A control and of course the real time uh, support and uh, and uh, later of course uh, we would like also to uh, 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 support also asynchronous modules and integrate er everything uh, ev or of course integrate with the logging system and uh, this is also very important that uh, 
the roles uh, can be um, displayed on the as a UI on the teach pendant. And uh, of course, this is extremely important and probably will be done with some kind of colleagues from the research departments so we can integrate in the in, in our application in the in the in the control process cutting and uh, grouping or well, you can read it here uh, yes that's it thank you and of course uh, some uh, this is a very important message but uh, uh, this yeah, yaskava is very open but uh, I joined company four months ago. It was very important for me to meet actually Hash, Hash and, uh, and he boosted uh, a lot. I think that he's made a great job for the company and to, uh, and I hope that, uh, I hope that uh, this, uh, this interface will be breakthrough in our, in our industry since we are, since of course we are, we have uh, colleagues from the U UR and, uh, and uh, uh, however, we develop also the very huge robots, and uh, these robots can be run in the ROS. So this is the wonderful solution, and uh, and uh, the path planners, everything is existing. So just plug and play. So this is extremely good. There are astronauts, so they landed on the moon, come back with the controller. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. So thank you for the talk. We have. Time for two or three questions. Okay. Thanks for the presentation, Marcus. Um, just a quick question. I'm glad to see velocity control and streaming of position uh, on the roadmap. Do you have just a rough estimate of how, um, how much of a priority these features are or how long you think the integration of those uh, in the driver would take? That's probably you need to ask, uh, Ash, uh, support me since uh, you are. Um, right, so how much of a priority? Um, well, so I'm just a guy sitting at a university in the Netherlands. Um, prioritizing roadmaps items is done by Yoskawa America um, Innovations. So I can't really sort of give you an actual date or anything like that. I will say for my own users, because in the end, as much as I appreciate the kind words of Marcus, I wrote this because I needed it. Um, and then I sort of gave it to Yoskawa because they're the best ones to maintain this in the long term. Um, so for my own use cases, I would say the items that you mentioned are high priority. However, this is uh, very close to the, uh, the motion control side of the Yoskawa controller, and that's not my expertise. So I'm also uh, slightly sort of uh, dependent on uh, involvement of other people. So I would say s rather sooner than later, but I can't give you any concrete dates, unfortunately. Okay, we have time for one more question. It was here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's related um, regarding FS100 controllers. I'm concretely interested in because of one project uh, we have, it was integrated in ROS1, uh, at least the documentation says uh, how hard it is or how much extending would it need to be integrated also for us too? So I have to be specific about this. You use the word integrated. Uh, in reality, the old driver just talks to uh, a very small Motor Plus application running on the controller. That application, Motor OS 1, that's what we sort of retroactively call it, that application was written in 2012, and that's why all the controllers basically run this because there's backwards compatibility. Now, I don't call that integrated because it's just sort of talking to an external interface. Um, to get this to run on an FS100 is sort of an exercise because everything is really, really, really old. And ROS2 is not really, really, really old. I mean, okay, it was started in 2014, but still. So uh, to get it to run, it basically means debugging lots of stuff on really old systems. I might be able to get a hold of one of those systems relatively soonish, and then it will probably go faster. But until I actually get access to one of those machines, it's basically down to whoever has one and is willing to spend time working on it. That's but why it's open source also, right? But is it possible, uh, is it possible to do change on the, on the ROS2 side to talks with this older program? Because basically you can there, program... There is no ROS2 side. Everything runs on the controller. So the, the biggest issue right now is getting thing, the whole stack that we migrated to work to run on the controller to also build and run on an FS100 
which is like going from a computer from 2000 to something that's currently running. It's no, no, th that's what I understand, but this is on the robot side. Yes. But we have the, the ROS computer side. They talk yes. with each other. So are you asking whether you can use the old version of the driver? C can, I, can I use the old version of driver and just... Not without adjust. porting uh, lots of stuff. It's doable, so uh, depending on how much effort you want to spend, it's definitely doable. Just no one but has done it. But wasn't ROS1 version also having connection to move it, or I misread something? Well, may maybe we should pick this up at yeah. a later time. So yeah. um, I see we are running out of time. So a very short one, and a short answer, please. Because I think it could be useful. Micro ROS is like a bold option. Do you have done this for real-time issues? Do you have a separate microcontroller communicating, or is this under the hood in the jets on PC or wherever? I'm not sure I understand the question. Micro ROS. Yes. You put it on the robot, on the PC, or on a separate no, microcontroller, it's, it's, and it's, why the choice? It's running. OK, so yeah, th this is not a short answer. So <laughs> yeah, then. <laughs> I'm happy to discuss any kind of details, but uh, let's do that offline somewhere. OK, good. So then thanks, uh, speakers again.